Hey, I'm Tyler and welcome back for part three of the Bike Rumor Weight We Wear series. This time we're going to be talking about shoes. So if you missed the first two, go back and check those out. Part one was about clothing, going from a full XC spandex kit all the way up to a DH kit with body armor. And the next part was about hydration, going from a simple water bottle or a flask all the way up to a full big old pack with body armor protection built into it. So this time we're talking about shoes and the important thing with shoes is that just like wheels, which we pay a lot of attention to the weight of our wheels and our tires because we all know those are rotating mass. And we all know rotating mass means a lot more to the overall performance of our bike than static weight like the frame or a handlebar or something like that. So because shoes are moving, they are rotating mass. And we've got a couple of examples here from Northwave. And before we get into the details of these and the weights, we're gonna talk a little bit of science and it's gonna be way oversimplified, but I think you'll get the point of why this matters so much. So to help us understand some of the science behind rotational weights, we talked to our friends at Zip Wheels because who should know better about rotational mass than people making high-end wheels? And so they gave us some overviews and to be honest, there was a lot of crazy science and stuff that goes way beyond what we need to know for this. You know, there's things that you need to consider about distance from center, which you know, it's obviously more when you're talking about wheels and the torque that's applied because you're not just talking about force in one direction here, it's a radial force. but Fortunately, we can really kind of get what we need to know from Newton's second law, which is force equals mass times acceleration. So when you're talking about shoes, you have mass, right? And when you're talking about what you're pedaling, that is the force. Well, rotational mass and rotational weight really only matters when you're actually accelerating. And that's the other part of this is acceleration, right? So when you're coasting along and you're pedaling and you're keeping a nice cadence, it's really not that big of a deal. It's when you get to a point where you have to sprint or you're chugging up a hill, just pedaling really, really slow. That's when rotational mass really goes because that's when you're doing a lot more acceleration, 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 right? It's not just this constant flow. And so in that case, if you do the math, you have force, which is your wattage and your output is power times Ma or equals mass times acceleration, okay? Well, you're only gonna accelerate so fast and you only got so much force to put out. So the variable here is the mass. And we're gonna talk about Northwave shoes here to see what the difference is between a lightweight pair of cross country shoes and a full featured, full treaded, big ol' heavy Enduro Mid. The Northwave Ghost XC comes in at just 396 grams per shoe for a size 47 has a full carbon sole, it's one of the stiffest they make, with Michelin rubber tread blocks just sporadically placed. And that actually saves a lot of weight by not having a full tread cover on the bottom. The other thing that keeps it light is just a single dial with one strap to pull it tight all the way across the top. The Northwave Enduro Mid shoes weigh in at about 617 grams each for a size 47. They're taller, burlier with toe protection, and a full rubber bottom. And this adds a lot of weight, all of that extra rubber. Up top, you've got a little bit heavier materials. Still only one dial, but then you also get a Velcro strap. So these are a much more protective, heavier shoe, but they're heavier. So you might be thinking, oh, but isn't one shoe going down while the other one's coming up? Aren't they kind of balancing each other out? Well, no, and here's why. So if you think about your tire, right? One half of the tire is always going up or down, the other one's doing the opposite, and those aren't balancing each other out. In fact, you're actually spinning the entire mass of the entire tire all the way around. Well, it's the same with shoes. It's just that you have the masses concentrated in different areas. And you can get really complicated in that, you know, depending on where you are, you might have one is further from the center, and then when it's down low sitting on top of the pedal, it's closer to the center. It all evens out. The point is, the mass matters because the more mass you have here, the harder you have to work to spin it around. Granted, you're gonna to have to pick the right pair of shoes for the application. You're not gonna get a lightweight pair of XC shoes or road shoes and go ride the bike park. But most brands, and everybody's got the brands that they like, have a wide selection. So find the one that has the features you need and the lowest possible weight that you can get or afford. So I hope you enjoyed the series. Check out bikerumor.com for more photos and extra information. And if you missed the first two, go back and check those out to see how the weights of clothing and packs all affect the weight that we wear.